Hi everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. want to welcome you back to my channel. And today we're going to be meal prepping with Mimi. So it's a Monday meal prep. Um, I'm just going to walk you through some of the things that I'm doing. I'm not wasting anything at all and trying to think outside the box on how I'm going to do things. I basically um, cook and prepare food like this anyway. But I'm just a little bit more diligent now. Um, with times the way they are, uh, recession looming, uh, supply chain issues, and uh, food shortages, uh, anything else? <laughs> Did I leave anything out? Okay, so um, here's what I'm doing for today. I am, because it's so nice and cool out today, it's going to be in the 70s all week and dry, so there's no need for fans or air conditioners. I am going to make a um, chicken pot pie from scratch. So I had an onion and some celery that I needed to use up, almost a whole bunch of celery. Um, so I used about half for this. I diced it up and I, I cooked it down low in just some water, just enough to, um, to cook it. And I added a little bit of salt and some black pepper. And to this, I'm going to add a little bit of cornstarch to make it thick. Um, and that'll be like a gravy type thing. And I will be mixing it in with some diced up chicken. Now this was a very large chicken breast. So, um, and this is my, my Rachel Ray bacon dish that I like. I love this. Um, I'm going to take a shortcut today. So instead of using a pie crust or making some kind of crust, I'm just going to put the jumbo uh, buttermilk biscuits on top and and just bake it. It's going to be really, really good. Um, also, um, because it's a nice cool week, I would like to have some um, Italian wedding soup this week. So what I'm doing is I had a bunch of scraps from celery, onions, and carrots. I'm making some broth. And then I remembered I had some uh, ends of zucchini that I cut off for a, a broth bag that I keep in my freezer. So I took that out. And I added it to a couple quarts of um, water in this pan. That's going to simmer really nicely. Um, I will drain out the vegetables. And I will have a nice broth base for my soup. And I have escarole growing in the garden. So I just got to throw some, um, some, make some little tiny meatballs and put those in there with the escarole. And some, a little bit of uh, orzo pasta or something. It's going to be a nice soup. Um, it could either, I could make it more hearty. Um, and add more vegetables to it, like carrots and celery, and, or I could just, um, you know, add another dish to the meal. So that's going to be some Italian wedding soup. This is basically free soup. I would have just thrown away um, the scraps anyway. So that's step one to scrappy cooking. Okay, so, um, with tonight's chicken pot pie, I want a side vegetable, so I cooked up a spaghetti squash the other day, um, and they are uh, they are a great addition to any meal. You could eat it just like you would pasta, or you could use it as a side dish. What I'm going to do is I am going to saute this in about a tablespoon of chopped garlic, maybe a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and a little black pepper, and... I used my scraps here to get some, um, dehydrate some tomato skins uh, a couple of months back. So I think that I'll be adding that for extra flavor and some color. Okay, so now that chicken breast was really, really big, right? Remember I told you, um, I'm making several meals. This is my meal prep day. So didn't turn out that way, but it is. So I diced up the rest of that chicken breast. I'm going to be placing it in a small crock pot with some ground ginger, garlic powder, home canned pineapple, and some um, sweet and sour sauce from store bought. <laughs> yes, um, I will go light on the sweet and sour sauce. I will be using um, the pineapple and the pineapple juice. So that will be another meal. So that's like meal number three. Uh, for dinner meals, and I will be adding a little bit of fried rice on the side with this, um, maybe some steamed broccoli. Okay, so now I was going through the refrigerator, 
and I had a half a cucumber that needed to be used up. And I am trying to get more veggies and more protein, and I'm doing really good with my cholesterol intake has been way under 200 milligrams a day. So um, I'm going to make an Armenian cucumber salad that we call Jajik. And what it is is you get some non-fat Greek yogurt or whole fat if you prefer. Um, it's plain yogurt. Do not use vanilla. <laughs> And I don't know why, but the old ladies mix it up with ice cubes, and you just keep stirring it until it's um, like a thin liquid. You add some garlic, some black pepper, and some um, dry dill or fresh dill if you have it. When this all comes together, you toss in your cucumber, and you chill it, and it's a real nice lunch on a hot day. It's very rehydrating, it's very refreshing, and cucumbers are a fantastic vegetable. So I can be having that one day for lunch, um, one day this week. Another day will be, I'm just going to have maybe a half a cup of um, the plain yogurt with some fresh fruit cut up in it or next to it. And I'll just use the, the yogurt as a dip. That's going to be really good. <laughs> okay, so scrappy cooking, scrappy uh, preparation and preserving. I managed to dice up the rest of the celery bunch that I was using. And I diced it up really fine. I'm going to flash freeze this, just like this, in the freezer on a plate. It's a thin layer. Actually, I could thin it out a little bit more. Once that is frozen, I'm going to pick it up, and it will all separate nicely. And I'm going to put it in a small zip-top freezer bag. I'm going to get all the air out, and I'm going to put it in the freezer. So anytime I'm making like potato salad or pasta salad or bean salad and I want a little bit of celery, I can just reach my little scoop in there, take out what I want and free leave the rest in the freezer. It freezes up beautifully. One thing I noticed about celery is once you freeze it, it's very hard to cut it up again. <laughs> So that's why I diced it up small because that's most likely how I'll be using it for chicken salad and, and things like that. So I have, let's go back and count. I have my chicken pot pie with my spaghetti squash. I'm going to have Italian chicken soup and the broth is practically free. The escarole, I consider it free. I mean, I think I paid $4 for a humongous package of seeds. Um, and it's nothing to grow. You just sprinkle it in a pot and let it grow. Tomato skins, I consider free. Would have thrown them away anyway. Um, I, I did dehydrate them. Um, it didn't take very long at all. So I'm going to be using some of those with the spaghetti squash. Okay, so I've got one, two, this is three meals right here. This along with some fried rice, the sweet and sour chicken fried rice, will be like, um, let's say, one, two, three. This will be meal number four. Lunch will be meal number five, um, which is the jajik, the cucumber salad. Um, if I get around to it, I might make some pita bread, and I'd like to try my hand at that. I never, I never did make it. Um, and what I'm preserving for today is my celery and I'm using up uh, half a cucumber for the jajik and I just wanted to let everyone know that if you think outside the box just a little bit um, think of how uh, creative ways that you can use things now this is one chicken breast and I'm going to be getting two full meals out of it so I mean it, it's it's and probably leftovers who knows um, but in these times, with the economy the way it is, um, everything is on such short supply. You have to really stretch your meals and try to bulk them up with more vegetables, which are naturally good for you anyway. So adding more veggies to your meals, thinking outside the box, making things stretch, using up all your scraps, like the broth and things, this is going to be what gets us through. So I know the times are hard, the economy is tough. Um, there is a recession looming. There's food shortages everywhere. But on Meal Prep Monday, I really got to thinking that um, as diligent as I am, I still waste. Um, so I'm not going to waste any more food. 
and I'm going to do my best to use what I have on hand and I will just use my budget weekly to um, for any fresh products that I need and to help um, restock my pantry, my freezer, and my refrigerator. I hope that this was a different video for you, something outside the box, something that's not newsworthy um, with all the scary headlines. So if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to tap the icon bell and you can get a uh, updates daily to my videos. Thank you for joining me on Mimi's Meal Prep Monday. Have a great day. God bless you and keep on prepping.